Well, we're going to take it all footage of it anyway. Yeah, we need a five-gallon bucket also. And we can kind of mix it in there first and pour it into the... And here, that'll be the first bit. show a very typical patio color restoration project that a lot of contractors and homeowners are going to come across whether it's for a customer or your own home patio. What we have is a stamp patio that's been around for about 10 years but the homeowner has declared that it probably has not been sealed in five or six years. There's no sealer remaining on this patio. The surface is very open, but as you can see, there's really no color left. The original color was a nice dark grayish brown, and it's just ashed out. There's not much left in here. So what we intend to do today is restore that color and reseal it and bring this patio back to life. The product that we're going to use mainly is the Walt Tools True Teeth. It is a powder that gets blended with water and it gets dispersed onto the patio in a very unique way. And what it's going to do is recreate that antiquing effect that was here on day one when it was stamped. And we're also going to use another color in that product uh, to give it some extra toning to give it some more natural look to the, the stones. All right? Okay, in prep for this, this patio has been pressure washed twice. Uh, to again, to ensure there's no sealer no loose latents, dirt, grease, anything that's going to impede the, the uh, adhesion of this product. And the way this product works, is again, it's a powder. And the amount of powder that you mix in with the water, a gallon of water, is going to determine the strength and uh, the darkness of the color that we're using. This in particular is charcoal to again reestablish the real dark antique lines that are in here. And what we're going to do is blend six ounces of this material with one gallon of water and we disperse it on the patio in a very simple way, an old fashioned watering can. Then we push it around with a broom. There is no easier way to reintroduce color to an old patio like this. Watch and see. Now I'll just do some new roll. That's one gallon, so that works out really well. A little bit more. You got a paint stick? Again, we want this to be fairly intense. You see it's a dark charcoal pigment. And we're going to add three scoops. These are two ounce scoops. Two. That gives us approximately six ounces. Now, the easy way to measure out the one gallon of water is to use the original container that it came in. Now we'll stir this up very good. We're going to transfer it to our pouring can and then start spreading it out. No. No matter. It's all in here. Again, you're going to want to make sure it's all stirred up. Eric, can you grab that camera? Okay. Now I'll simply start pouring it onto the patio. It's this easy. And then in a few seconds, we'll start spreading it around with a broom. thing is to keep your keep it shaking up
Our goal right now is just to spread the material around fairly even. Don't worry too much about heavy spots. Because anything too heavy, we're going to be able to redisperse with a little bit of water with the hose later on. But you just want to spread out this pigment. And as you can see, it just drops right into the holes. When you, when you think you're getting close to finishing an area, just simply get rid of any latent footprints and then let the material start to soak in. As it dries, the color is going to fade down, but you're going to be left with all the pigment in the low recesses. Don't worry about overlap because we're still in the cool part of the season. We're not too worried about hot concrete. If you were doing this in the summer, when the concrete's very hot, it's very advisable to pre-wet the surface. So it slows down the evaporation and the hardness of the color. But right now we really don't have any worries. What Eric's doing right now is just get the tight areas again with a small broom. Doesn't require fancy tools to use this product and do this project. The key is just to make sure you get color dispersed all over. So like all these edges, you can follow the air can do it. As you can see, concern might be we're a little heavy in here, so we're going to add a little bit more moisture to this, a little water from a sprayer, or if your hose is handy, do that, and then we're just going to push this around a little bit more with the broom, even it out just a bit. All right, guys. We wrapped up the base coat, which is our charcoal. Once this dries a little bit, uh, you, we start to get some dry peaks in the stones. We're going to come back through and actually put the material in a sprayer so we get a finer mist over the top because we don't want to cover up the grout lines that were already filled with the charcoal. We just want to lay some material on that top to give it a little bit of a brown tone to mix it up a little bit. In the meantime, this customer also said they want to color their pavers along with their stamp patio and this material works just fine for that. Unsealed pavers are very porous, they're gonna absorb this just like the concrete is. So it's, it's an easy restoration for pavers as well. Eric, this boom. Yep, it's over there. guys you're going to see some of the flatter areas like a seamless skin you end up with some broom marks so just take your sprayer and just hit it with a little accessory water and it's going to break those apart that pigment's going to flow out and disperse itself pretty easy just like that to go away second color this dried out nicely uh, for the second color we want to add a little bit of moisture back into this top so the color essentially just has enough moisture there to grab on we don't want it too dry because we might get blotchiness uh, but 
this little bit of moisture there isn't going to affect anything the grout lines. What we want is when we add the secondary color to not be so heavy where it flows into the grout lines and covers up the charcoal, that nice charcoal toning that we already have in place. So we take this brown, we're going to just spray it lightly on the top, not much different than I'm doing with this water, and it's going to leave a nice brown tone on top of the stones across the whole pad. So we'll get started with that short one. All right, guys, for the next step, we mixed up a batch of the Adobe Brown. So it's a nice medium brown tone that's going to complement this charcoal gray that's in here very well. It's, going to, it's a reddish brown that's going to tie in with the bricks that are in the trim of this, of this patio, and it should work nicely. But we're going to do it different. We put it in a sprayer because it's going to create a much finer mist and dispersion of color in there. Our goal is not to flood it and push it into the grout lines. Our goal is just to spread it nicely so it settles on top of the stones and it doesn't run off so much into the sides. Just a nice swirling action. It's going to deposit. You can see a little bit of a rustic brown tone that's going on here. It doesn't take much. It's very subtle. But when you seal it, it's really going to come out. You keep your wand moving. So no puddles, no streaks. As you can see, this is such a light application that no running water is taking place. Nothing's going to go into those grout lines and bury that charcoal. guys uh, you're gonna take a look we're all dried off it's been a few hours uh, the colors are nice and, and uh, not very popping right now but that's gonna come out when you seal it it actually looks very similar to what it looks like after you stamp a patio with powder release and clean it off and let it dry that's a very similar look and that's the whole point of the true tea because it, it gives you that that antique look back to your color there's gonna be a lot of charcoal in those grout lines and there's a good amount of that rustic brown that's going to tie into the brickwork here. So what we're going to use for sealer is uh, the Walt Tools Deco 2K which is our proprietary silicone based sealer. It's not an acrylic, it's non-slip, very long lasting, extremely durable and it's, and it's a breeze to go down. So we're going to go ahead and do that and let you take a look at it when it's all finished. going to spray and back roll to make sure we get everything nice and even and anywhere from 15 minutes in the summer to you know maybe up an hour when it's a little bit cooler out it's just going to go from white to a nice nice uh, satin semi gloss finish And then you may notice you get some roller lines here and there. That's all right. The design of this sealer is it's got extreme penetration and that's going to go in very even. In fact, you can even you can seal a countertop with a chip brush and when you're finished you're not going to have any brush marks. So it's a very easy sealer to use. Very forgiving. 